And go. The instructions that they give you with parafilm don't work. They try to tell you to lay it over and cut it. Don't do that. That's it's not really suitable for for hard masking. It's good for soft masking. And it's good for things like figures where you might want to use uh, liquid film. But here you can act. You can use this, and it doesn't stick that bad. You have to stretch it to activate it. And then you can fold it up however you want or lay it over. I've done it where you get a thruster inside a piece, like on a Valkyrie or something like that. You paint the thruster up first, wrap it in the parafilm, put it in, and then you can take it out of there later on. So the idea here is you're going to lay it in and then work it up into the, uh, into this, into the cracks, right? And this would be useful if, you, if you're trying to airbrush two separate things in different colors and different shades. Like if you're doing a face, paint the face first, mask it off. I see these tools. I should have brought some other ones, but I was rushed. The idea here is you, you're working it into, this, into the gaps. Year, I think. <laughs> and you can peel it off the one if you want. I'll send it around. You can see it's just a thin area. It may not be thick enough, that's why. It may not be working so well here. So you have to fold it, do you? Well, no, I mean you can you can do a thin layer, but what I'm trying to do here is work it like right up to it, right up to the edge, right up to the edge, and kind of fill in the gap a little bit, or fill in the get it work it under there. It sticks to itself really well, which is a good thing. It sticks to other things, fair which is also a good thing. So if you're going to try to wrap the piece up before you work with it, and then you can paint it and just peel it off later on. And it's not like using masking tape or something where you have an adhesive that can cause a problem. Or the, uh, some of those sculpt, some of the gels or some of the liquids where you may never get it out of any little crevices. Or it peels up paint when it comes out. Or yeah, it reacts with the paint if you're using flats. Right. <laughs> you can't get it off. Yeah. Any of these things work better with gloss though. So you get you can do that kind of thing. If you do um say you're gonna paint the eye, then wanna paint the armor. Like if you got a, a guy with a helm or something like that, you can have a little, little piece of it like this, just to make a little, kind of a little lot of it. Work it in, 